Repair Life TV, thanks for joining in. Today I am going to show you how I changed out my rear tail light. Alright, stick around, you don't want to miss this. Let's get her inside, it's cold out here. Good morning everybody, it's Shane here, Repair Life TV. Okay, before we get going, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like, and hey, if you liked the video, you found it helpful, share it with a friend. Alright, so this morning... I am going to fix my rear tail light. I'll show you what happened. I got uh, I got rear-ended a while back. See, it was cracked up pretty good there. And I'm going to replace it with one that I had picked up at the uh, salvage yard. Really good shape. It's got a couple bulbs in it. It looks like one bulb is burnt out. It's pretty black. But these bulbs are still working fine, so we'll replace that too. So let's get started. So what we'll need uh, here is a hex screwdriver. You couldn't make it easy and put a Phillips in there. But you get two, uh, let's see right here. Two bolt, two screws, you have to unscrew here. And there's a connector for electrical in the back. We'll, uh, we'll disconnect and reconnect. There's one. Okay, so I got the screws out. A little dirty. Let's try to wiggle this off. No problem. Oh, we got some water in there. So here you see. So you can see here the, the lights. These are the bulbs. You got to twist, twist, twist. Take the bulbs out. And there's the electrical here. It makes the whole thing work. I got to get this electrical off. Jeez, that was pretty easy. Oh, sorry. That was the electrical is harnessed. There's a slot right there. You can see for this wiring harness to slip into so I do have to disconnect this here so let's see if I can do that I'm going to get wet yep, I can hear the water coming out so it didn't survive the rain a bit of water in there uh, you have this one off let's see what I need for lights here so let's just quickly connect this guy and then I'm going to start the van to see what we have see what bulbs work hopefully they all work that way I have to change bulbs. Easy peasy there. That slides in. Let's put it up here. Okay. So check. I went and got myself a little helper for this. And we're going to see if these lights work. we got to find out if the brake, signal, and reverse lights work. I didn't screw it in yet. Uh, I want to keep it. Uh, I don't want to fix it yet to the car because if I have to change a bulb, I don't want to unscrew it again, right? Okay, so Max, uh, turn the key over. Don't start it. Okay, driving lights work. So let's do the uh, left signal. Yep, left works. Okay, let's just do the right. Let's test it all. Yeah, right works. Perfect. Okay, let's do uh, hit the brakes. Brakes, yep, brake works. Let me see the other side. Might as well look at the other side too while we're here. Okay, brake, good. And, all right, we're going to pull the vehicle out of the garage because we're going to start it. And uh, it's not safe to start and have a running vehicle in a closed space. Closed, enclosed space. And uh, we're going to move this out, start it up, and see if the reverse lights work. And let's see if the reverse lights work. Put it in reverse. Yes. Let me check the other side. Yep. All lights are working. Okay. Let's back this baby back in where it's warm. And then I'm going to put it all back together. Woo wee. That is cold out there. So that's good. We got all lights working. And I checked the other side too to make sure no bulbs are out. A okay. A uh, rookie mistake. And I seen it when I took the other light off. When, you, when putting the, uh, the tail light back into the, the, the van, make sure these tabs are lined up. There's little tabs right right here. I don't know if you can see. Little black tabs. They have to go in these holes right here. The one here is going to go in that hole. So that's why I was having difficulty getting my, my screws in because I wasn't lined up properly so when you put the 
<clears throat> so when you line up those tabs, or put those tabs in, so you, easy. There, that looks better. But we're in there now, and we're screwing away. Guys. Snug this one up. There we go. Perfect. So that's it, gang. That's how you change rear tail light in a 2008 Chevrolet Uplander minivan. So we're all good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is just another day in para life. If you can do it yourself, do it. Save a few bucks, that's for sure. Thanks again, all. Keep rolling.